and welcome back to another Gundam Customs session. So, I'm on the previous videos that I've done, although it's only just been uploaded. It was basically the start of my work in progress and the progress updates for the Perfect Grade Gundam RX78 GP01. And that was done last weekend, and like I said, I've only just got around to uploading it. Uh, this has been quite a busy week with getting all this done. So, as you can see, the shield is more or less finished. There's only one thing that I need to do, and that is the gloss varnish over the top. It's already had a gloss coat. But to help seal everything, I'm going to do a gloss varnish now that it's had the panel lining done and everything's finished off. So, at the moment, that is on order, so I'm waiting for that to be delivered uh, to my local model store. And once that comes in, I can then finish these bits off and get the shield assembled. But for now, I'm going to give you a quick look at what I've done. So, like I was saying with the three stage painting system that I've done. Hopefully you can see how the shading has come through quite nicely on these particular bits. So like I said when I did the prime I then go into three stage painting system or shading system and I do my dark edges with uh, the shaded areas with the darkest of the three colours which in this case it was flat black which is Tamiya's XF1 then after that I dried I then went into doing the whole piece covered with NATO black again Tamiya XF69 again leaving it to dry I then did the highlighted areas which is from the center outwards with dark grey which is XF24 Tamiya once again and that's basically how I wanted it to look same again with the shield same sort of system just slightly lighter variants of colour so that was First of all, the XF24 dark grey, XF54 dark sea green was then used next, and then sky grey, which is XF19. So, once all that finished, I then went to work on the rear of the shield, which now looks like that. And for that, what I did was I gave it a gloss back base, the Alclad. Then Alclad stainless steel. And you'll see on the photos, which I'll add to this video, I didn't add them to the last video because I thought it would be more relevant adding to this one. You'll see how I masked off the parts that are still stainless steel. Done the gold and then the gunmetal for the frame work around those stainless steel parts. To finish off then all I did was do my panel line uh, sorry gloss coat then panel lining and like I said to finish it off before I assemble it I need to do a gloss varnish. And then that piece was done in a very much similar fashion. So black gloss coat or base then did the stainless steel, masked, then sorry I didn't mask off, I did the areas that I wanted detailed, masking off as I went along and then re-black gloss based and then stainless steel again over the top whilst the other, uh, while the detailed areas were still masked off. Then finished off with a gloss coat and a panel lining. So I'm just going to basically now let's just put it slightly together for you so you can see actually how the whole shield will look. I 
and that is basically how it will look when it's all together. And if I switch over to the back, and that's how the back will look once it's all done. Obviously that will go inside there as well for when this part of the shield slides up and down because it also sits in there like that. But for now guys, that's everything. I'm going to add some photos to the end of this video so you can just see the progress and the stages that we went through to get it to how it is now. And I hope to see you all again soon. I hope you enjoyed the video. Many thanks. Try for now.